Okay, after this short tutorial, you'll be able to do a grab-and-go assembly line. Cool, so it's really easy. You just want to premeditate everything that you're going to do. Um, I decided I was going to make two turkeys because we got plenty of turkey uh, for lunch still. Um, one roast beef and a ham. I already made a kicking chicken and salad. So it's going to be two turkeys, a roast beef, and a ham. And, okay. Yeah, Jack Chan. Um, so what I do is I just use up, usually I get you know, everything out that I'm going to be using, um, but you can also pull it out as you go. So at this point I'm done with the provolone because I've got it for the turkeys. It can go to the How side. many slices? Um, it takes two slices, whole slices per sandwich, um, split in half and then laid across. So four half slices to equal in two whole slices. Each turkey sandwich gets six slices of turkey. I like to kind of have the meat coming off the side a little bit. That way when you wrap it up, it looks really uh, meaty and appetizing. Five and six. And then what I do is just kind of start consolidating my space. We're now done with our turkey and our provolone. Um, all the lunch sandwiches, except for the cha-cha chicken, are going to do the same thing, just depending on the type of cheese. All grab and go? Yeah, excuse me, grab and go. Two slices, four halves. Mm -hmm. And on the ham, I just, I don't know, half them, I just take the whole slices and kind of make a diamond shape. Now we're done with our cheddar. Just need roast beef and ham, which we got right here. Cool. Yeah, just open it up to air dry. With the ham, it's important to to make it bulky as opposed to all flat and not interesting. You kind of fan the meat the same you were doing and make a full circle around the sandwich. How many slices of ham on it? Ham and ch Jackie Chan cheddar and ham? Six. Grab and go? Grab and go. Six. Now we're done with the ham. Leave a little exposed. You can see a little more ham than cheddar. Roast beef? Yeah. Six slices of roast beef. And you know, it kind of depends if they're huge and thick. Uh, you can do five if they're tiny. But ultimately it should look about like it does at the end of this sandwich here. And then the hoagies. I like to do long diagonal cut because then it looks really Whenever you wrap it up, you want to put the face, the top part, the show part down against the plastic so it's smooth always. And you make this, what do you call that, poly, uh, some kind of rectangle that's not with right angles. That's good. Normally I try to get a little more stuff shown, but. It's really okay if it doesn't. So, same thing. Diagonal cut. Diagonal cut. Back to back. Show side down. Real tight wrap. It's, I mean, you're not going to squish or destroy the sandwich. It's only bad if you wrap it loosely and then it starts getting air. I always start at the diagonal corner and then come across the side. It seems to get it all in play the best.
there you go. Now you can do assembly line, grab and go sandwiches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the labels too. Okay. Are we rolling up? Yep, still rolling. Cool. I typically, I mean, the bottom looks good, but I like to do it where, you know, it's more bread than meat that way. Or, you know, just some kind of creative way to. Let the sandwich kind of speak. And then the date? Yeah, and then we date it uh, two days. So today's the 29th, right? So we'll date it for the 31st. If you make it towards the end of the day, you can date it an extra day. Yeah, an extra day. And the date that it's on, it's still good on that date. Yeah. Right. So if it's past that date, then it needs to be thrown out and rung up as a um, as a as a food spill. 